All right, so I've actually recorded this twice already, but each of the times I didn't have my mic on. The first time I actually didn't have the physical mic on. The second time I didn't have the receiver plugged into the uh, input jack on the camera. So I tested it now. I'm, I know for sure that I'm getting audio, so that's good. So today is my first full day in Bangkok, Thailand. Today, what I'm gonna be doing, as soon as I get out of this room, actually, I'm gonna make sure that I take a quick walk around the area to get a feel for what the buildings look like, what the people look like, how the people interact, see what stores are around, so on and so forth. And of course, how the weather feels. Cause I looked at the weather app and it's only 10 a.m. And it's already 81 degrees. It's supposed to go up to a high of 95 degrees today, which I'm not really looking forward to, especially with the humidity factor involved, but that's cool. That's the whole reason we out here to see exactly what it feels like. So after I do a little bit of a walk around in the area, what I'm gonna do is actually do a tour. And the tour that I'm doing today is gonna be a walking food tasting tour in Chinatown. So I wanted to do that just because one, I wanna get a feel for what the food tastes like in Thailand, but two, cause I'm starving right now. Like I said, it's 10 a.m. and I haven't eaten anything. I normally eat at 8 a.m. in the morning. And I know, you know, the time is a bit off because I just got off the plane and it's about 12 hours ahead of New York, blah, 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 blah. But I need some food right now. So I'm gonna be doing that. And then afterwards, I'm just gonna be doing a bit of uh, roaming, so to speak. I didn't wanna have too many preset pre-planned tours or events scheduled on my very first full day of being here just because I don't know how I'd feel if I'm jet lagged or if I feel fatigued in any sort of way. So I had it more of an open type of schedule for me today just to make sure that one, I'm more flexible with what I can do. And two, if I need to take a nap, I could go ahead and just take that nap. So uh, now it's time for me to go, take my little walk and then get going for the day. See you guys in a bit. As soon as I stepped out of my room, like as soon as I stepped out of my room, it, the, the mugginess and the heat just hit me smack dab in the face like a rock. Oh my goodness. I already could tell outside is gonna be brutal. But anyways, heading out of the building right now. I'm about to make the most out of my day. So we'll see what happens. All right, I just had a pretty good interaction with one of the people that works at the building. I wish I caught it on video, but it seems like there's a lot of development going on in this area specifically in bangkok in general but in this area specifically and we're about to go see exactly what that looks like uh the other thing that i want to mention is, is this is hard for me to get used to to be honest they have uh, left side driving left hand driving which is very different from the united states obviously where we do the right hand side driving so i'm gonna have to get used to that because the patterns of traffic are going to be a bit different right so everything that i do in the United States, I'm gonna to have to do it in reverse. Yo, crossing the streets is no joke. No joke at all. You gotta be very careful about what you're doing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was intimidating. I'm from New York City. You know, middle of Manhattan, I thought that was something, but oh man. Wow. Look at this street here nothing but traffic seems like this is just a very active street which is great but because it's active I know that's an indication that it's leading towards a place full of activity so, people are really friendly here so far it's been a very warm welcome and I like that it makes me very optimistic about if I ever decide to relocate here or spend a significant amount of time out here I can feel very comfortable with interacting with the people and feeling as though I don't feel so much like an outsider. Obviously, I'll be an outsider, but it's not gonna feel that bad. So that's a good thing. So one thing that I noticed, right? And I'm looking around, looking at the people, I'm always paying attention to how people dress. And it seems like, even though it's really hot out here, people, are, people wear long, long pants whether it be jeans or some type of slacks. So that's something I'm paying very close attention to. Everybody, pretty much everyone, except if they're tourists, are wearing, hello, 
wearing some sort of long, uh, long pants, which is interesting. Oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> These trees are so close to the fence. So you can see they got buildings out here too, big buildings out here too, you know. So I, I did a little research, and it seems like in the big cities like Bangkok, uh, I don't know too many other cities to be honest, but um, that's more of the norm to wear the longer type of pants, whereas in beach cities, it's more acceptable to wear shorts. So that's something that's very interesting and it's good to know. So that's something that you have to really think about whenever that you're traveling here to Thailand. Um, think about the type of city that you're in. They're building some spot called Miami. I don't know if this is under construction or what it is, but it looks like, it looks like it could be some type of beach club or something. I think that's pretty interesting. Huh, let's take a quick look at it. Oh, that's nice. Maybe it's a club? I have no idea. Anybody that's looking for a luxury condominium, it's a place literally called Rich. Luxury condominium. Maybe that's a place that I gotta check out, huh? Information starts 149,000 baht. Bath per square meters. Down payment starts at 9,000 a month. So that's, I think that's actually pretty cheap, to be honest. That's not, that's not a USD, obviously, that's in baht. But, but this is the center. It's like a shopping center, basically a mall. I guess people are coming out here, doing their shopping, of course, like, like any other place, doing their shopping, you know, clothes, food, electronics, so on and so forth. But you have your uh, restaurants as well, and that's uh, what looks like a supermarket too. So it's called Index Living Mall. Just got it. Index Living Mall, you see that? I do gotta get over to my tour, because I don't wanna be late, it's already 10, 16 and I have to meet up by 11 and it's about 25 minutes away. So I want to make sure I get there with some time to spare. I'll talk to you guys later. All right guys, so I just got in my ride. Um, I got about 20, 20 minutes, 25 minutes to spare because I got to be there at 11 and this ride is about 20 minutes. So I'm probably going to get there with about five minutes left and we'll see, it should be, should be okay. With all this traffic, it could be very stressful. Oh my goodness. Wow. They're really doing a lot of development in the area, which means that, from what I can tell, that means a lot of growth in the city. Even though Bangkok is already a big city, it's getting bigger and bigger by the day. interesting ride I'm on a motor taxi right now we're about to get to where I gotta be I'm, I'm late so there's no way that I'm gonna make it but we'll see all right so clearly I'm not gonna make it to my destination that's all good um well I'm gonna make it to my destination just not gonna make it all time which is cool but Taking this little motor taxi here, which is a nice little ride. We got the let the air like, flow through my hair, as they say, and um, it's cool. But now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do because I'm doing my plans way off. But we'll see. So now, like I said, I messed up. Um, I'm at the station, but I'm about 30 minutes late. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Should be interesting. So clearly I should have given myself more time to get here because I finally got here but 30 minutes behind. So in retrospect, I shouldn't have done that little walking intro from the hotel to the place. Um, this is exit three, but I'm definitely late. Definitely, definitely late. So right now we're in Chinatown. 
They got a drip cafe. Which I, you know what? I'm gonna walk in there. It's actually quite nice in here. Nice and tranquil from the outside. Um, outside is chaotic. Inside here is peaceful, which is what I'm looking for after doing so much this morning. All right, so I'm in here. Have my peach tea. This this peach tea is actually pretty good. I can't complain at all. It's got a nice balance of flavors. Like usually when you go to a cafe and you order a peach tea, they don't add any sugar. You have to ask for the sugar. I had I didn't even have to ask for the sugar at all, which was a nice uh, change of, of pace, a nice uh, change of the norm, so to speak. So. I'm glad to get this nice iced peach green, not green tea, iced peach tea. Get out from the blistering sun because it is so hot and humid outside, it's ridiculous. So I get to relax here for a little bit, drink this, simmer down, plan for the rest of the day because my original plan got skewed, got screwed up. But it's all good. I'll prevail. There's many, many, many things to do. So. Uh, I don't know if I caught it on camera, but I did take quite a bit of footage of the entire area and it's quite busy to say the least. There's a lot of market stuff, people buying, you know, meats and seasonings and rice and, you know, the everyday type of food. So um, that's pretty interesting. And the train station is right by us. That's pretty much exactly where I was trying to go. Uh, that was the meetup spot for where I had to start the food tour at. but. Unfortunately, didn't get to do that, which is fine. I could probably schedule another food tour at this point, but I'm not sure, to be honest. If anything, I'm gonna have to wing it, which is all right. Um, my plan is to, right after I drink this peach tea, is to try to find a restaurant, like a Chinese restaurant or something, we are in Chinatown, and get something good to eat there and do a review of it. So we'll see what happens, but uh, yeah, nice to get us to just kind of chill out and relax drinking my peach tea all right so i actually got to change um the tour guide i talked to the tour guide and they figured it out they worked with me and i'm able to change my time from 11 a.m to 4 p.m so i should have no issue doing that food tasting tour today kind of threw things off but I, again i didn't have anything specifically planned for the rest of the day so ah pretty happy about that all right guys i find myself a restaurant it's interesting because they're playing American music. They're playing like American country music here, which is actually pretty interesting. But find a Chinese restaurant slash bar on my way to a restaurant that I was going to. It was a Thai restaurant. I'll end up going to a Thai restaurant eventually. But um, I found me a nice restaurant here. Got me some chicken fried rice and it tastes actually pretty good. It doesn't taste that much different than what I'm used to. And yeah, I'm gonna dive in. I also got myself a Mai Tai, which I'm hoping to come out very soon. One thing, you know, being from New York, you expect service really quickly. That is not the case in Thailand at all whatsoever. So when you come out here, especially if you're from a big city, don't expect things to come out quickly as far as the service is concerned because it's just, it's not gonna happen, all right? So yeah, let me dig in and get into my food. But it's looking scrumptious, as you can see. I'm about to take care of business. Hi, tell the people hi, say hi. I say hi. Hi. <laughs> she, she was great the whole time. Your mother. Huh? Your mother. No, this is just uh, to, the, to the world, the whole world. Letting them know that you did a great job, that you, uh, you know, helped me out today. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. How much is it? Can you get the, the check? Uh, um, yeah, so pretty good, for good service, good food, had a couple of Mai Tais, some beer, and a mojito on top of the chicken fried rice. So I'm about to go into my walking tour. Right now, it uh, should be interesting because I'm gonna have a lot of different food, which, I mean, I'm full already, but we'll see. So, see you in a bit. All right, y'all. So, so far, so good. Had quite a nice meal, and I'm about to get into my walking tour. Um, I got about 30 minutes left of footage to go in this current setting, um, which I quite like. So, I don't know. I'm burping right now because was it a beer? Every time I drink beer, this is something that happens. But uh, we shall see what the future holds. 
Yeah, yeah, Amoles. Yeah, nice jewelry, yeah. right? Yeah, Amoles. Yeah, Amoles. People uh -huh. they believe that uh, lucky. Uh -huh. if, if they can. If they buy it, if they wear it, it yeah, gives yeah. them luck. Good luck. Good luck. Oh. See, I'm learning, guys. I'm learning. She's learning too. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> This one, Rosso. Rosso. The Rosso. Okay. The Rosso. You see the boy with the water. Okay. After the When they drink it, right? It's yeah. like a, it's like a, you put can make like a tea. Yeah. Put the, with the sugar. Okay. And this one, the spirit house. The spirit house. Oh, wow. Chinese, Chinese spirit house. Oh. You see, they put inside the room, the house. Put it but, inside the house to, yeah. to give good spirit. Yeah. Oh, it's, this is uh, it's just made from the dust. It's made from the sticky rice. Sticky rice? Yeah, made. Oh, okay. People come to pray and worship. So the it's God. a place of worship and, the and prayer. Yeah, the worship cause. The God. It's 4 o'clock, so there's not a lot of, um, well, there is a lot of food out, but there's a lot more food places after 7 that's just lined up on the street. It's a bunch of these little cars, just like this. It's lined up. After seven. So how do you how do you say it again? Du du durian, 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 durian. Yeah. Yeah. And they got the juice too. Yeah. When you out here in Thailand, especially in Bangkok, you gotta be careful because apparently the drivers don't care. So it's everybody for themselves out here. If you're not careful, you will get got. And apparently the punishments for bad drivers is really low. So you don't want to be caught up in that uh in that group of people that gets hit by a driver and nothing happens to them it's a lot to see here yeah. uh, the Chinese, uh, herb yeah yeah hope. yeah Chinese. different herbs they got here that they're selling yeah if you can read that you should come here guys <laughs> medicine medicine got it got it got it got it yeah traffic police come yes <laughs> so 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 here it's two no, no. it's two different it's two different police apparently so there's the police for the sidewalk they take care of the sidewalk so the people that have their carts on the sidewalk if they don't have a permit then they get in trouble and then there's police for the roads um that take care of the roads and i guess uh you need a permit to sell food on the roads i guess something different like that okay yeah pretty much Unfortunately, I don't have this. Almost employee now is not Thai people. They are from uh, from, uh, from Myanmar. Myanmar. I heard somebody oh, telling me that. Uh, oh, oh. A lot of people. A lot of people. I heard. I heard that some people were telling me that a lot of people oh, from oh, Myanmar because oh, of the oh, war. Oh, 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 oh. About like oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. That, that's why when when we ask something. Make sure. Okay. Because she she, she doesn't she, know the language. Worry, worry about it. Right, right, if right. If you make loss, then the money you lost. Yeah. Will lost because you get a little bit money. Right, right, right. Working for this. I see, I see, I yeah, see. Yeah, you said money. Of course, you got to make sure that the order is correct. You got to make sure that the order is very, very correct, right? Which makes sense. Got to make sure that it's that it's a good order, right? They got yourself a watermelon juice. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see how good it is, right? Yeah. Should be nice. <laughs> we shall see. Yeah. So apparently there's a lot of Chinese people that emigrated, essentially, from China to Thailand. Who both emigrated as well as just travel on a yearly basis, which is pretty interesting. Oh. Wow, these are bird nests. People eat bird nests. I would try it. So um, you said this is a stomach. Yeah, stomach of fish. Stomach of fish. It's the Great Wall of China mural right here. Ah, it's beautiful. The top 80 richest people in Thailand are of Chinese descent. Wow. So there's a big income difference in Thailand. So the top 5% of people here are considered rich, like upper class. 20 to, you said what, 20 to 25 percent? 20 to 30 percent as a middle class? Yeah. And then the rest of everybody is, so there's more than 50 percent, it's like 60 percent yeah, or 70 percent is, in, in, is in. like poverty. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So this is a, wow, look at this. Okay. It's another temple, huh? 
the that's the goddess name. What's the what's the name of the goddess again? What's called the Godim. Godim. Yeah, and the people come to pray and come to worship. Yeah. And come to bless her, bless. Yeah. Let's let her bless blessing. Right. Yeah. Okay. So and they 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 will lucky and get successful in their life. Okay. 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 Yeah. What what you want, you can. You right. You what you what you can get just by praying and uh, getting the blessing from this one. Yeah. Okay, nice. We got these old dilapidated buildings. Wow. Yeah, apparently the king didn't like the old style. He traveled to Europe and decided that the European architecture was better, so that's what he wanted to do. And um, that's pretty interesting. That's a little cool tidbit of information that we got. So he let a lot of these older buildings, 100 plus old buildings, get, get lost, get uh, dilapidated and decrepit, so it's quite interesting. So she doesn't want to try the stomach yeah, yeah, of fish. Yeah, yeah, you got to try it. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, I think we should try it. Let's try it. A little bit. Yeah. Try let's it. Do it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Try yeah, it. Fuck. You got to be, you know, try it. <laughs> First of all, I make a picture. Yeah. So, and then yeah. I send it. So people and then yeah. maybe they can, uh, they can. Yeah. You know the station? Yeah, yeah the Sokovic station is right there. I was there earlier today, yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, I just missed it. You just walk only. Like right, like only, like 50 feet, like 50. 50 meters. Yeah, yeah, it's right there. So, so we got the, the we got the wonderful fish stomach, and we got it's egg in there. Food. And then apparently there's some crab meat too. So this is gonna be an interesting experience. She's gonna try it too, right? You should try it. Look, it can't be that bad. People eat it and they're still alive. Yeah. It's still alive. Some, some, you say so only some people are still alive yeah, after this. Yeah, maybe you, know, you never know how many people eat it. And I hope I still stay with We're going to be fine, alright. <laughs> mm. It's good. This is really the stomach. This is the part of the stomach. But, but what's it? Is it? It's egg. Alright, we're going we're gonna to do this Instagram too. I got a um, fish stomach. Okay, I got the fish stomach with some crab meat in there. And the egg. She's going to try it. Wow. I say go for it. Yeah, yeah, it's good, right? It's good, mm -hmm. it's good. You see, you escaped for no reason. Yeah. See, nice, good stuff, good stuff. All right, I'm about to dig in and enjoy this meal. That's the end of my videotaping for today. I can't do it anymore, I'm tired. I'll see you guys later, peace. <laughs>